Hi, my little pretties. It's the Candy Witch here. It's my last appearance before I fly off in the sky on my broom. I have my broom nice and handy and it's ready to go all warmed up. But before I go, today or tonight, whenever you're watching this, I am going to tell you a Halloween story called Trick or Treat. These are always stories I make up and they always have a moral to them or relate some way in the type of witch I am, which I am a candy witch. And that's why I call this story Trick or Treat. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. You know I'm 72 now, and I just say it because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. Thank you to my dear, sweet subscribers, all of you that are so wonderful to me and kind and supportive. I so appreciate every one of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. We're about ready to go count down to Christmas and you don't want to miss this. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you don't miss a video. And if you like this, please give me a thumbs up. It does help my channel. All right. As your candy witch in my last appearance can you believe our spooky fun month is over starting tomorrow though it's countdown to christmas i should say countdown to the holidays and i can't wait so make sure to tune in tomorrow before i start i promised the naughty roosters i would show you a picture of them i made them some witch hats instead of those Kleenex ghost costumes. So take a look at them. They've been trick-or-treating and are enjoying their rewards. Okay, welcome back. They're back in their little basket in the kitchen. Let's start our story. And I always start my story by opening up my witch book. You know, this is a Dollar Tree witch book that I made. And I just covered this with Mod Podge and hot glue. You can see the spider webs, the witch hands. It's so beautiful, just with all kinds of fabric and flowers and feathers and all kinds of things. And you know, the first page here, I talk about the 31st or Halloween, and this is Stories by Bonnie. Now, the first year, you know we did the Helsa story. Helsa is my ghoul, uh, ghoul that I made. I made her, let me see if I, there you go, from this. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about myself because I couldn't get her. She was sold out and I was going to do a haunted house and I had my, my whole uh, idea about doing a haunted house and all about Helsa and so I made her. The next year was about the competition. Remember that one about the, the lady that moved into town and did a competition trying to win and she ended up not winning anything because she was greedy. And the next last year was about the little witch. Remember, she flew in the sky and didn't listen to her mother and learned a lesson that mom always knows best and dad too. And this year, it's trick or treat because got candy. I'm the candy witch. So it had to be around trick or treating and about eating food and eating sugar. Wait till I tell you the story. It's about witches that decorated their house all in candy. And I'll tell you why. Let's get started on our story. So the story starts with two little witches. Now these witches you can see have crystal balls. They look in their crystal balls because they actually try to do good deeds on Halloween. And they look in their balls for children and teenagers that need to be taught a lesson that are not treating people in their life as good as they should. And so they're gonna look into their crystal balls. Yeah, they love to cackle. And we are gonna turn them off now because they're more irritating than my cackle. <laughs> okay, we're back with the witches. But they look into their crystal ball and they see somebody that needs help. So they didn't have to look far. Down the street was a teenager named Molly. Now Molly had a younger sister. And by the way, 
This is Mabel and Mary, the two witches. So Molly down the street was a teenager. She had a younger sister and a mom and dad. And she had this trait, which I find very annoying in life. And that is she could eat whatever she wants and never gain weight. Okay? Have you known people like that? Sometimes life isn't fair, is it? <laughs> but the problem with Molly was, as they look into their crystal balls, they can see how mean she is to other people. She um, teases other people that she can eat whatever she wants, and they can't, especially her sister and her mother. But dad doesn't get involved in any of this, but... She can be so mean. And you know how it is when you just look at chocolate and you gain five pounds. Well, that's how most of us are. But Molly wasn't. But instead of quietly um, not teasing people or reminding people of that and bringing home fattening foods, when the mother and the younger daughter were trying to lose weight, she would throw it in their face. Do you want some pizza? Do you want some cake? Do you want some cookies? Do you want some candy? And as Halloween rolled around... The younger sister hated it, and she knew if she ate any Halloween candy that her sister would tease her and make fun of her and the whole thing. So before Halloween, the mother and daughter decided they were going to eat healthy. No more pizza and cakes and candy and all of that stuff. They were going to have salads and have protein and cut the sugar and the carbs. You know the drill. <laughs> we all do. And they were starting to lose weight. Well, Molly was so insensitive and rude to her family. She would bring home all this food they couldn't have and sit there at the table eating it with them and shoving it in their face and laughing at them. The mother had just had enough and said, Molly, you can't bring this food home anymore. It's just, it's too tempting to us. Well, you guys can't eat it. I can eat whatever I want and not gain weight. And you guys can't eat anything. And you gained and get so fat. That's what Molly would say all the time. So these witches saw all of that and they said, hmm, we have an idea on how to teach her a lesson. So they talked and they talked and they decided to decorate their Halloween house right down the street from them. They always come trick-or-treating all in candy, irresistible candy, sour candy, chocolate candy, junior mints. Uh, Twizzlers, all the stuff we love, dots, um, candy bars, all kinds of candy, everything sweet, treats, even popcorn balls and all kinds of things. But they're going to put a spell on them that if anybody eats them, they're going to get fat and they're going to have to diet to lose weight. I think that's a very good plan. Me too, Mary. Mabel and Mary were very good witches. But we can't have the other kids eating this stuff and getting fat and having to diet. This is meant for Molly. All right, we'll put signs up. I'm sure Molly will disregard it as she's been so irreverent and so rude to everybody. All right, let's get ready. Sure enough, Halloween night came and Molly and her young sister went trick-or-treating. And after every house, Molly would say, I hope you're not going to eat that, sissy. You are going to get fat as a pig. Sissy started crying, but Molly had no empathy for her. She couldn't understand. That's why these witches wanted to make their house irresistible and make her learn a lesson. If she ate any of that candy, she'd have to diet or be fat the rest of her life. So they came to Mary and Mabel's house, and of course, they're dressed up as they almost always are as witches, and they cackled and welcomed Molly and her sister at the door. But it was just her sister. They looked outside. There's Molly eating the house. Molly, you shouldn't be eating our house. Those are decorations. Oh, they're just delicious. They're real candy. I can eat them. But did you see the sign that if you eat this, you're going to get fat and you're going to have to diet? Molly just laughed at them. You silly witches. I can eat whatever I want and I never gain any weight. Ha 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 ha. And little sissy was just petrified that her sister would be so mean to the nice little witch sisters. So fast forward the next day. Molly opens her eyes and she notices it's almost hard to open her eyes. She goes to get out of bed and falls on the floor. 
What has happened to me? She jumped up and looked in the mirror. She gained 50 pounds overnight at least. She got on the scale. She started crying. Oh, mom. Oh, sis. Oh, my gosh. What has happened to me? And little sis said, well, Molly, you ate the candy off the witch's house and they told you you would gain weight and you're going to have to go on a diet now. I'm not going to go on a diet. Oh my gosh, I don't have to diet. Why did that candy make me so fat? And little sissy said, I think they put a spell on it. She ran over to the witch's house and they answered the door. And she said, look what you've done to me. You've made me fat. Oh, I'm sorry, you weren't supposed to eat that candy. There were lots of signs that told you not to, the sister said. Molly just screamed at them. How do I get thin again? How do I get thin again? You have to diet. I'm sorry, Molly, but you should have followed the rules. Molly went away, away crying, screaming, just out of her mind. Oh my gosh, she had to go to school. What is she going to do? All of her thin friends that are so uppity and so mean to everybody, they're going to reject her. And they sure did when she went to school. She could barely fit in her clothes. They were just like bursting at the seams. She was crying all day. She even tried to go back to her old friends, you know, the regular people that couldn't eat all that, that she made fun of and all of that. And they were nice enough to say, Molly, you can sit with us. What happened to you? And she told them the whole story. Well, you'll have to diet. I am not going to diet. I, and she stopped herself and said, I think I need to diet. Oh my gosh, this has happened to me now too. Now I know what it feels like. She stopped in her tracks. She burst out into tears and apologized to all of her old friends and all of her thin friends, you know, the ones that are very shallow and mean and cruel, just sat there laughing at her. So her mom came and picked her up. She said, mom, I'm so sorry. I realize now how awful this is to be overweight and I did it to myself and I need to diet. Can you please put me on the diet you and Sissy are on? Her mom smiled at her and said, I don't know what happened to you, but I love it. Anyway, yes, let's go home. They all went home and they all sat down to a nice meal and she could feel the pounds slipping away, but it took another five months for her to lose that 50 pounds. And she learned a lesson to always be empathetic with others when they're going through challenges and support your friends. And your true friends are the ones that'll stick with you no matter what, as long as you treat them well and never ever be mean to your mom and your little sister. And so the witches said, we were very successful at this little spell. Of course, they took the spell off and of course the candy disappeared. And now they're looking in their crystal balls for next year. Who can we teach a lesson to? All right. All right, you all. That is the end of my story, trick or treat. For Molly, it was a trick. For most people, it's a treat. And a lot of times, these are things we should, of course, always eat in moderation. All right, my friends, as the candy witch, I will come back as a new witch next year. As what? I'm not sure. But I have my broom and I'm ready to go and fly off until next October 1st when I'm back as a new witch. But make sure to stay tuned because tomorrow it's countdown to the holidays, to Thanksgiving and Christmas. And I can't wait to do all of that. But this little witch says, Farewell, my little pretties, till next year. Hope you love this spooky month. Hope you got so inspired and had some fun, at least had a couple laughs. And I'm going to see you tomorrow for Countdown to Christmas. Bye.